you speak about the holidays as being a sad time, do you recall what Christmas was like in those days? It's cold in St. Louis around Christmas. Mm, it's very, very cold. And uh, mixed in with the poverty was uh, the feeling of people coming together uh, in joint efforts to, like, see that the poor and needy got a basket for Christmas. I don't know, do they still do that? Yeah. Yeah, and we would get a basket or we would get uh, some stockings filled with something or other and there would be a few presents. And then there would be like a, a Christmas dinner. You went to midnight mass. It, was, it really wasn't, it, it, for us, I don't remember it being such a festive holiday, you know? It wasn't, it wasn't something that you looked forward to in terms of how much fun you were going to have. One learned not to really want specific things, like a bike or a pair of skates. I mean, I learned early not, never to really pinpoint some things that I wanted. Set your heart on something. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Here. Here, let me do this. Hello? Ma'am? Kathy, where have you been? I've been trying to get a hold of you all day. We're making cookies. I'm depressed. I hate Christmas. Oh, everybody gets depressed around the holidays. Sure, you sound positively suicidal. Listen, why don't you come over? We'll cheer you up. Yeah, tell her how she can eat one of these eight Dalmatians you made. They're, they're reindeer, Nancy. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear that? Nancy yeah, tell her she can eat them herself. What, you've been taking Scrooge pills or what? Lynn, I just called to say goodbye. I'm running away. Oh, it's Sarah Heartburn again. I thought you said it was Kathy. <laughs> she said she's running away. Yeah. Hold on. Kathy. Okay, let me talk to her. Maybe I can cheer up. Hello? Hi. Oh, swell. Sarah Fawcett Minor. Are you really running away? Sure. It's a family tradition. Let me talk to Lynn. Come on, Kathy, cheer up. It's Christmas. Look, would you stop trying to cheer me up? It just makes everything worse. It's bad enough every time I turn on the TV, I have to see some stupid celebrity surrounded by a family that looks like it stepped out of a Norman Rockwell painting. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean, all those Christmas with the Blah Blah family specials. Yeah, my family's not much good at holidays. Except for Timmy. He's perfect for Halloween. And my mother. She split right after Timmy was born. April Fool. You mean your mom ran away? Yeah. I wish my dad would. What? Nothing. This lousy tree makes me cry. Wait, wait, Kathy, don't cry. And don't run away, okay? Don't worry, I'll give you your present before I leave. Kathy? Look, let me talk to Lynn, all right? <gasps> the elves! I forgot! Oh, no! no! Kathy? You take your cookies more seriously than you take me. Kathy, I told you to come over. I, I told you not to run away. Thanks. Oh. She hung up. Hot Hero Sandwich. We'll return after these messages. We now return... Please, Kathy, don't leave me. Oh, you'll find somebody else to torture. I'd miss you. Besides, if Dad finds out, he'd be real mad. Oh, how you be able to tell? Come on, don't you care about me at all? Look, I'm tired of worrying about everybody else. I gotta take care of me for a change. Okay, okay, but if you want to go out of here, it's over my live body. Oh, Timmy, you stupid twit. It's over my dead body. Look, sis, I don't want you to go, but it's not a matter of life or death for me. Get up, you little creep. Somebody's at the door. Not until you promise you'll stay. Get up, Timmy. In just a minute, there's something in the way. Kathy, is that you? Is that Lynn? Yes, and Nancy and my mom. Get up, Timmy. Kathy, we're freezing. Kathy, promise? Here. All right, all right, just get up. Kathy, we oh. rushed over. I feel like a human popsicle. What are you doing here? Kathy, you sounded so depressed. I was afraid you were really going to run away. And I could not face that kitchen. What? 
Oh, Kathy, you have got two real good friends here. A little sloppy, but good. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, honey, what's the problem? Well, it's Christmas, Mrs. Holloway. It just really tears me up when I think about how a family's supposed to be. My family. Look, baby, baby, such... baby, baby. I know your life isn't easy, but but running away doesn't solve anything. But I'm real. But nothing. Now you have got two real good friends who love you, and a daddy who provides for you, and a and brother. Oh, Timmy, don't sabotage me. I'm trying to cheer her up. <laughs> See, now it's not that bad. And besides, everybody does not have a typical family. Yeah. Do you remember father and mother and Dick and Jane and Sally? Yeah, and Spot and Puff? Yeah, I could never relate to them. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, all your love does not have to come from your blood relations. Hmm? Yeah, I guess you're right. You guys care about me the way I wish my family, my real family did. Of course you aren't too. <laughs> well... You know Norman Rockwell painting, but I guess you'll do. Good girl. Does that mean you're safe? Yeah. Oh. Uh, in that case, give me ten bucks. For what? I want to buy you a Christmas present. Oh. You don't want something cheap, do you? Timmy! That's That's